Goldman, who are now with us and ask for apologies. I will be making again in a moment, Mr. Shaw. Thank you. 
it, it would be remiss of me uh, prior to speak into the substantive issues captured within paragraphs 9 through 14 <coughs> at this point to, to make the point that this is in effect the conclusion of a body of work which started back in uh, 2010 when the um, the, the first uh, consideration is given to the entity which is now that which we are sat in today, the Joint Control Centre with Merseyside Police. And you'll recall back then in August of that year there was the civil disturbances which were, I think it's fair to say, managed on Merseyside far more effectively than pretty much anywhere else in the, in the country. And that was in no small part down to the uh, I think the excellent, uh, the excellent interagency work in between, as, as probably most uh, most acutely ourselves and the SSR police, that is not in any way to do down the road of the North Service in there, but by and large it was us and the police that were there involved in that particular, that particular operation, operation there, as it was known. And what became obvious at, the, at that time was is the command and control facilities which currently exist on the seventh floor of police headquarters had probably were no longer in you know, the purpose. They, it's not so much that they'd seen better days, it's just that the, the way in which we operated just outgrown the facilities that we had there. And of course at the same time there was the the ongoing debate over whether or not the, the authority would remain part of the regional control project, given the fact that at that time the, uh, the government of the day had made the decision that the uh, that project would be, would be halted, and it was then up to the authorities themselves if they wish to still proceed, which of course our colleagues from Lancashire, Greater Manchester, Cheshire and Cumbria have done, and they now have the, uh, the regional control centre over at Wellington. The decision that the authority took, as you'll recall, is that we would, uh, instead of engaging with our fire and rescue service partners, we would instead engage with Merseyside Police to develop a joint command and control facility, which not just provided state-of-the-art strategic and tactical command functions, which have replaced what, the, what were clearly the outdated facilities with the police headquarters, but also we would centralise the operational planning and policy teams from both organisations along with North West Ambulance Service and also consolidate our call handling and dispatch facilities which from a fire and rescue service perspective we now do. And as you're aware, the <coughs> organising control went live in early July. So the, for all intents and purposes, the Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service element of that project is now concluded. And the final, the you know, final element of that project was the equalisation, if you like, the consolidation of the shifts for the our control staff with that of their operation counterparts. And that uh, came into effect as well. Our shift generation came into effect uh, yesterday. This one today, uh, this morning rather, at uh, 0700 hours. And is now uh, is now embedded as the uh, the operating model moving forward. So that, in essence, is what is captured within paragraphs nine to fourteen. I think it would have been remiss of me here not to uh, just to highlight what an outstanding achievement it is for everyone. I think for both organisations for us to uh, to have got to this point. Our police colleagues, uh, the force operations team, is in. They are in the uh, they're in the room adjacent to us here. The call handlers from the police are in the process of undergoing training and will start to occupy the uh, JCC very soon uh, and they will be followed thereafter by the dispatchers. Our police colleagues mobilise slightly differently from what we do. Our call handling and dispatchers run by the same person through the measure mobilising system, whereas the police have two separate people to undertake that particular task. And that's just one of the just one of the nuances of the length of the differences between the, uh, the way in which both organisations operate. But say the, the substantive point is the, uh, the 
final message you said was control is now live here in the building and the, uh, the shifts on our new cars with our operational staff and that's been achieved through a collective agreement with the FEU and with the firm. As I say, Chair, we'll be with the next 